scuba divers all love a challenge. In the early days of your training, learning to master the equipment and feeling at ease underwater was an adventure in itself. Now you've mastered these skills and are building up experience, but maybe it's time for a fresh challenge, something that takes you to new dive sites and teaches you different skills. Most of all, a project that allows you to give something back to the underwater world that gives you so much pleasure. Welcome to Sea Search. Above water, it's easy to see what makes up the landscape. Habitats can be identified and mapped and special areas and species can be chosen for protection. Underwater, this is far more difficult. We still know very little about the variety and distribution of marine habitats and the plants and animals that live within them. And that's where Sea Search comes in. Recreational divers make hundreds of thousands of dives in the UK every year, revelling in the fantastic marine life that these waters hold. You are the people that see what's going on firsthand and can be our eyes and ears on the underwater world. Knowledgeable recreational divers have made many discoveries in the relatively few years since scuba equipment became readily available. The tiny leopard spotted goby is a good example. Not so long ago, biologists learned about marine life by trawling the seabed. As the goby was only found in nets occasionally, it was thought to be very rare. But divers soon discovered there are plenty of these fish, if you know where to look. Similar discoveries have also extended our knowledge of animals at opposite ends of the British Isles. In the far north, much more is now known about the distribution of the beautiful sea lock anemone, which thrives in sheltered waters. In the southwest, the warm water snake locks anemone shrimp was discovered by sea search divers who have since tracked its spread along the south coast. All of these discoveries were made by ordinary divers with an extraordinary interest in the marine environment. So what does Sea Search involve? Most divers log their dives and Sea Search simply extends this by asking you to record the basic features of the seabed and the marine life you encounter. Any dive or snorkel can contribute to Sea Search. You can adopt your favourite site and monitor the marine life there throughout the year, or you can explore sites that haven't been recorded by Sea Search before. Either join us on organised surveys, take part with your club, or just as an individual, even organise your own expeditions. All your sightings are vital in building up a picture of our marine environment. Wherever you choose to Sea Search, you'll learn much more about life in the sea and get to pass on your knowledge to others. More importantly, your findings will help protect the marine environment. So how can you get involved? The One Day Observer Training course teaches you the basic skills to get you started. You will identify the main features of the site, draw a simple profile or plan and record the marine life you see. Think of it as a deluxe dive brief for your friends to enjoy the site for themselves because they're keen to see an octopus too. Don't worry that you're not a marine biologist or won't be able to identify the wildlife you'll see. We'll teach you the basics, so all you need is your enthusiasm and interest. Once you've mastered the observer stage, you can move on to the surveyor stage, a more in-depth survey of the seabed. A weekend training course teaches you to recognise a wider range of marine life and to record the seabed in more detail. If you develop a particular interest in a group of animals or seaweeds, then Sea Search specialist courses and ID guides are there to help. Sea Search will improve your diving skills. Working close to fragile marine life without damaging it needs excellent buoyancy control, especially if you want to take photographs too. You might be wondering what happens to all this information. All the Sea Search dive records go into the public databases used by professional biologists and conservationists. This helps us decide where to carry out more detailed studies and helps to identify important sites for protection. You can check out your own records or plan where to dive next to spot that elusive animal on your bucket list.
The last few years have seen lots of sites designated as marine protected areas in one form or another. Many of these were identified by sea search volunteers, such as the seagrass beds in Northern Ireland's Waterfoot MCZ. Seagrass beds are important for a variety of reasons and being shallow can be mapped and recorded by snorkelers and divers alike. A number of sea searchers were also involved in the designation of the Loch Caron MPA to protect fragile flame shell beds from damaging bottom fishing activities. Our data continues to help the authorities responsible for managing activities in MPAs and this would be impossible without your ongoing sightings. The information also helps us to map the locations of the rarest marine life, such as this sunset coral. Variations in range because of changes in climate or water quality can then be identified sooner rather than later. Sea Search volunteers have made first sightings of animals and plants new to the British Isles and alerted us to the arrival of potentially problematic non-native species. There are also regional sea search projects and recording schemes that concentrate on individual habitats or species, such as fragile sea fans, or documenting the resurgence of the spiny lobster or crawfish. Crawfish were on the brink of extinction in the UK, but recent years have seen them bounce back and sea search divers are helping to track their growth and distribution. So there you are. Sea Search is the project for any diver or snorkeler with an interest in marine life and a passion for the sea. Why not dive in and join us now? <laughs>